This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this part, we are going to study relative velocity in two dimensions. The concept of relative velocity which is introduced in motion along a straight line, it can be easily extended to include even in motion in plane. Okay. Suppose two objects A and B are moving with velocities A, you know, VA as well as VP, then with uh, some common frame of reference, then the velocity of object A relative to that of B is given by, okay, the velocity of object A relative to that of B is given by VAB, that is VA minus VB. Similarly, the velocity of object B relative to that of A is given by VBA, that is nothing but VB minus VA. So, by seeing these two equations, we can write VAB is equal to minus VBA in direction. If you consider the magnitude, then both VAB and VBA are equal. Okay. So, let us consider a simple problem. Rain is falling vertically with a speed of 35 meter per second. A woman rides a bicycle with a speed of 12 meter per second in east to west direction. What is the direction in which she should hold her umbrella? So we can we should represent this using a figure, then only we can understand how to solve this. Okay. So let us represent this using a figure. So here we are. Okay, VR represents the velocity of rain. Isn't it? So, you can see in that we are in the figure. And VB represents the velocity of the bicycle. Okay, that bicycle is east to west direction. Both these velocities are with respect to ground. Okay, since the woman is riding a bicycle, the velocity of rain as experienced by her is the velocity of rain relative to the velocity of the bicycle okay since she's riding the velocity experienced by that woman is relative to that of relative to the velocity of the rain so the velocity experienced by her is given by vrb that is nothing but vr minus vp okay and this relative velocity vector Okay, as it is shown in this figure, it makes an angle theta. So, that theta is given by Vp by Vr. And we know the velocity of the bicycle is 12 meter per second and the velocity of the rain is 35. So, the angle theta is given by 19 degree. So, the woman should hold her umbrella at an angle of about 19 degree with vertical towards the west. Okay. So, now let us study one of the important concept that is projectile motion. Okay. 
as an application of the ideas which are developed in the previous sections we consider the motion of a projectile an object that is in flight after being thrown or projected is called as projectile so when we throw an object it will form a path so that path is called as projectile you just consider the such a okay the example for this projectile it can be a football cricket ball when we throw it so it will form a path isn't it so the motion of a projectile may be thought of as the result of two separate simultaneously occurring components of motions okay one component is along a horizontal direction and the other will be along the vertical direction with constant acceleration due to the force of gravity so the component which is along the horizontal direction without any acceleration okay and the component along the vertical direction will be having constant acceleration due to the force of gravity okay we can consider a simple figure to understand this the we can assume that the air resistance is very negligible suppose the projectile is launched with a velocity v not as you can see in this figure that makes an angle theta not with the x axis as shown here okay the projectile is launched with the velocity v not and it makes an angle theta theta not okay with the x axis so after the object has been projectile the acceleration acting on it is that due to gravity when it is directed vertically downwards okay so we can represent that acceleration as minus g j cap okay so where ax is horizontal acceleration is zero and vertical acceleration is constant that is acceleration due to gravity so the components of the initial velocity v not is given by v not x is equal to v not cos theta not and v not y is equal to v not sin theta not okay the components of the initial velocity if we take the initial position to be the origin of the reference frame as you can see in this particular figure if you consider this o as the initial point then we can write x not is equal to 0 and y not is equal to 0 so then the we can write x is equal to v not x into t and we know v not of x is given by v not cos theta not into t similarly y is given by v not sin theta not t minus half gt square okay and y is given by v not y minus half gt square so we can represent v not y as v not sin theta not minus half gt square okay the components of velocity at the time t can be obtained okay 
the components at the time t it can be obtained by considering uh, the equation that we already learned so the equation is uh, given by vx is equal to v not x plus ax into t just consider the equation so we already learned this okay vx is equal to v not x plus ax into t and v y is equal to v not y plus a y into t okay so by using this equation we can find the components of velocity for this projectile motion so vx is given by v not x because ax is zero in horizontal direction isn't it and vy is given by v not y that is uh, given by v not y and a y is minus g into t and we can represent this v not x as uh, v not cos theta not and this v not y as v not sin theta not minus g t okay an equation four point or we can consider it as equation okay and uh, this equations they represents the x and y coordinates of the position of a particle at the time t in terms of uh, two parameters so the equations that we just learned that is x is equal to v not cos theta not into t and uh, y is equal to v not sin theta not into t minus half g t square so these equations represent the x and y coordinates of the position of a projectile at the time t in terms of two parameters that is initial velocity v not and the projection angle theta not okay notice that the choice of mutually perpendicular x and y directions for the analysis of the projectile motion has resulted in a simplification one of the components of velocity that is x component remains constant throughout the motion and only the y component changes uh, like an object in free fall in vertical direction okay when an object uh, you know it follows a projectile motion the x component it remains constant only the y component changes okay this is uh, this one we can see in the figure so this one you can see in this figure okay so the point of maximum height is uh, okay at at the point of maximum height we can consider vy as zero okay at the point of maximum height okay and therefore theta that is nothing but tan inverse of vy by vx isn't it so tan inverse of vy at the maximum height is zero
the angle is given as zero. So now we understood what is projectile motion and how it is to be represented using the components in the horizontal as well as vertical direction and the acceleration along the horizontal direction is zero and along the vertical direction it is gravity acceleration due to gravity.